everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the final installment <laughs> of Crafty Goals with the Maya 2020. Today I'm going to give you a recap of my December goals and kind of my end of the year goals. And if you remember and you wanted to follow along and maybe even go back and catch up, it's hashtag Crafty Goals with Amalia. And for me, hashtag Crafty Goals with Elaine. The one with Amalia, you'll find everybody. But the list is still down below this video. You'll see everybody that stuck it out for the whole entire year. Now, this was my second year in doing it. And I know some of you have said, if we do it again next year, I want to join, I want to join. Well, Amalia has um, told us that it's not going to be the same way. Um, if you want to do it, that's great. But all you have to do is put in hashtag crafty goals. She would like you to still do the first Saturday of every month and put your video live at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And it is. It's open up to everybody everywhere. But those are pretty much the simple rules. To, you know do your goals and then to put them up on YouTube like I said the first Saturday of every month at 3 p.m. am I going to be joining along probably not um, I've done it for two years it has served me very well don't get me wrong um, I'm not a quantitative kind of person when it came to these goals I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to make you know 15 cards this month and I'm going to get this much done. A lot of the ladies were that way, and that's good for them. It worked for them. Me, it was more of the big picture and things that I wanted to do and get done. And the goals definitely kept me focused, and it kept me crafting. It sure did, because I'd think to myself, oh, I have a video I have to do in a couple of weeks. I need to produce something. And... I did. Now there's plenty of times when the lazy kind of meandered in and I'm like, ugh, I have to go and do something because I have a video to do, you know, kind of thing. And I, so it did help me. It did give me the swift kick in the butt I need it sometimes. But I have, I have accomplished for the most part what I want to accomplish. Now it's time to actually play and have fun. And I don't want to have to keep track of it. I, I just I just want to do and I just want to produce. So here are my goals. Um, I pretty much kept the same goals all year long. Um, there was one goal that I did change. And I'll tell you about that. Um, but did I, I got my art studio, She Shed, finished. Um, I think I got it pretty much done about the middle of May and then I want to say it was October early November I kind of did a revamp of part of it and I, I, I plan on doing a video and showing that I like it so much better I've added some tables that I can have more friends over so yeah that was a big plus for me um, another thing, I had kind of gotten away from my ATC buddies, and I needed to get back to do that. So that was a goal for me, was to at least do one swap every quarter. And that's all they require to stay part of the group. You know, and one swap is usually, can be, you know, maybe a mingle or three ATCs. It's nothing that demanding, and it's fun. There are some creative very creative people in that group and um, we've been in it for a long time and uh, if, if you want to know more about that please private message me or put a message down below whatever and I'll tell you how to um, join the group it's a great bunch of gals and I don't know that there's any guys in it right now um, but to attend three retreats <clears throat> excuse me my voice is changing to attend three retreats and host two here I attended more than three over the course of the year, and I definitely hosted more than two here, and that will continue on. Um, you know, I don't necessarily need to spend the money to go out to other retreats, and 
but I, I like the larger groups. I can only do um, six here, maybe a seventh person if I sit here at this table. Um, so the other retreats, they're, they're good for having big groups. But this retreat, I get to stay home. <laughs> Unannounced giveaways, um, I, I, they weren't for me. Um, I made the decision that I am not going to give prizes away for someone to watch me on YouTube. Uh, I'm not doing that. They weren't successful for me. Um, I did have a couple early on when I hit a milestone in my numbers count for my subscribers where I gave some goodies, and that's fine. Those ladies were lovely, and um, you know I'm glad I did that. But just to do surprise giveaways, um, no. And to make announced ones to get people to come and watch you for a little while, and, and, and subscribe to you just to be able to receive something, not for me. So that is something I, I can't foresee that I'll ever do again. And um, the next thing is to find at least two new YouTubers and subscribe monthly. And when I say new YouTubers, I mean people that have less than a thousand. <clears throat> there are many of us out there. And this is the list of people that I suggested that everybody watch and subscribe to through the course of the year. And um, I'm going to just kind of hold this up and if possible, see if I can get it all on the screen together, hopefully, let's see, here we go. Uh, yep, everybody's there. Um, you will maybe freeze where you are right now and go and subscribe to some of these people. If you look back on my old videos, I have links to their YouTube channels. Um, as a YouTuber, most of us want to reach that thousand subscribers. It's not just because that's the number to become monetized, because there's still more to it than just reaching that thousand in order um, to get monetized. One thing you can do is you can do live videos when you get to the thousand. And I'm talking live on a mobile device. So if you're out at, you know, like a, a show or you're visiting somebody and crafting, that you could do a quick little live and, and show them. But you have to have those thousand subscribers. And so I do want to say one other thing, and I'm, I'm pretty, I don't know, I'm pretty passionate about this, and I guess it's because I fit into it as well. You know, when you subscribe to someone, stay subscribed to them, especially if they are trying to reach their thousand. Don't say, oh, I'm subscribed to you, blah, 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 and then you're not. Don't do that to them. Stay subscribed and, um, you know, even watch them, this, you know, watch them every now and then and, and leave them a comment. With those comments, I can't tell you how much they mean to us. And um, if you're a big YouTuber, it doesn't hurt you. Excuse me, my voice is cracking. <coughs> if you're a big YouTuber, it doesn't hurt you to mention the little YouTubers. All of us little YouTubers are what made you big YouTubers, big YouTubers. And you should never forget from which you came. It's always been my philosophy. And because I'm a little YouTuber, probably not many people will see that I just was up on my soapbox <laughs> talking about that. But anyhow, here's my list. And, you know, I'm hoping that every one of them at least got a few new subscribers from me. And, you know, I, I truly do wish them all the very best. So, back to my list. <clears throat> At this point in time, I do want to tell you that Amalia gave us the key word of praise. And, you know, I want to praise everybody that stuck it out for this year and um, did this collaborative. And if you were like me and you did it for two years, I really want to praise you. But I also want to praise everybody out there that takes the chance and does a YouTube video. Just one even. You know, it, it, it's, it can be very daunting and stressful to just put yourself out there where, you know, people can criticize you and give you those thumbs down and stuff like that. Don't let them get to you. Um, just don't. You do you and don't try to copy anybody else. And remember, this is not a competition. If you have friends or people you know that also do YouTube videos, 
it's not a competition. You're not them. You're not doing them. They're not doing you. You do the best that you can. So I want to praise all the YouTubers out there. Like I was saying, all of us that have less than those thousand subscribers, you know, kudos to us. And um, we're going to get there one day. And we're going to have a good time. And we're making friends along the way. That's the important part. Um, timely complete projects that I've started. I've done pretty good with that this year. Um, one thing that I do want to do in 2021 is I want to do maybe a quarterly video where I show you what I am working on in my craft room. Um, you know, I have six tables set up, and if you were to see it right now, you would see that I have kits made up for a class that I'm going to be teaching on journaling in um, Florida. You'll see that set up. You'll see that my 20 soft cover journals that I'm working on for a giveaway, they're laying out there. That's one thing that this She Shed has done for me. I shouldn't always say She Shed, Art Studio, The Pinecone Cabin. What it has done for me is it has allowed me to spread out, do what I want to do, lay it down, walk away from it when I need a break, and if I want to work on something else, it does it. Um, it's there. I don't have to dig it all back out because you know sometimes things will get buried and then it's discouraging when you have to pull it all back out and sort through it, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I've done better with um, completing things that I've started. Continue to use what I have. I've done a great job at that, I think. Um, the problem with it is, is I keep being given more and more stuff. Just yesterday, I got two messages from folks wanting to know if I wanted some stuff. You know, one thing was jars that were really pretty. The other thing was this bunch of wood. Um, I, I, I just can't take it all. But I also don't want it to go to the landfill. So I do my best then to see if there's any other people out there that would like to have it. Um, I do plan on doing some goodie bags this year at some of the retreats I'm going where I'll share my fabric and stuff like that. So, yep, that'll probably be in one of my videos when I start, start staging for some of that stuff. Stay organized. Um, I told you that I had made some changes in October, November-ish. They have helped me stay organized. Um, I can now actually walk up to some other stuff and it's not buried up under a table and everything. I plan on doing a video of the um, studio here soon after the first of the year and show you all those changes. A weekly YouTube video, yep, I did it. I put out a, a, a YouTube video every Tuesday except for the Tuesday this past Tuesday, I guess, the one between Christmas and New Year's. I figured we all had enough stuff to do. We didn't need to worry about a video coming from me. So I did do that, and I did um, comment on everybody that commented on me. I definitely responded back. I, I think I've made some pretty good crafty friends out there by um, communicating with them through YouTube. Uh, monthly Crafty Goals video. Um, yep, I did that. I met all my deadlines. The one time I did time my video, my videos usually come out Tuesday at 6 o'clock. These videos come out at 3 o'clock, and I kind of messed up on the time on one of the months. But that is that. And I had made a, um, a list of all of the um, other collaborators, and we've had a couple people fall out along the way. But, you know, I thought this was a good way. Um, when we signed up to do this collaboration, to me, it meant that we were going to be a team and we were going to be the biggest cheerleaders for each other. Um, I know that I have held up my end of that bargain. <clears throat> um, better with media? Yeah, I, I've, I've made some changes. Um, you know, I have a Facebook group. I have a Facebook page. I have Instagram and Twitter. Um, my own personal Facebook, of course. I have a Pinterest, and of course I have my Etsy shop. And and I, I try to be consistent, like I said, with my YouTube every Tuesday at 6 p.m. So, yeah, I've done better with my media. And again, like I said, I've, I've watched all the collabors, and I think I've been a pretty good team player there. <clears throat> at this point in time, I want to take and I want to say a couple thank yous to some people. 
and the first one is Vicky. Vicky is part of the ATC group that I'm part of. This was one of the Christmas cards that I got from her. I usually get a Christmas card from Vicky first. She's usually the first one that I get, and I want to thank her. And then this one came from Lucy. Lucy's also part of the ATC group. So these two ladies never forget about me. They always remember me. And I have to tell you, Lucy, those are the cutest little fake rhinestones that I have ever seen. Looking at them now, look how sparkly they are. And I don't think there's a rhinestone thing about them. They look to be like some kind of little metal. So anyhow, these are the first two cards that I got, so thank you very much. This card came from CB, who I met her at a retreat a couple of times through the years. And on CB's real name is Carol. So I want to thank her. The card is beautiful. Um, Carol is a very good artist and does some beautiful faces. And she'll do them like on ATC um, size. I've not been to that retreat um, a couple years. And I kind of miss getting her faces. But she stays in touch with me different ways. And this, you know, one of the things was to get this Christmas card from her. And then this is from my buddy Kathy who comes here to the Pine Cone Cabin quite often. And, you know, we do a lot of outside retreats and stuff together. And um, so that came from Kathy. So thank you very much, Kathy. And this came from Marsha. And Marsha is another local. Um, she's actually a scrapbooking person. And they let me come to their scrapbooking retreats when they have them. I'm usually the odd duck. And Marsha, I can tell you a funny story about Marsha. The first time I ever went, I was working on ATCs. And... I sat at this big group of tables by myself. Nobody came on that Thursday. I was there all alone. But I kept plugging away because I was on a mission. And I heard Marsha at a table behind me. And she said that she was talking to someone. She goes, what's she working on now? And I kind of chuckled. And the person says, Marsha, why don't you whisper a little louder? And I turned around and laughed. And we have all become fast friends from there. And finally on Friday, the other seven people showed up at my group of tables. Um, this came from Joan, um, Joan and Paul, and they live across the pond, as they say, and Joan always does the most beautiful cards, and <laughs> I had to laugh. I said, just the postage on this thing alone, you know, was probably a bazillion dollars, but it made it, and it, it made it with just one little hole, and I think that's where that was right there. So it has, it has been through the mill. And um, she even decorated the front of the envelope, too. So that is from her. And then this is from, and I've already untied it, but this is from my friend Terry. Um, one of the things that was on my to-do list that, um, or my goals list that I found out that at this point in time was not very good for me was to do live videos. I wanted to do some lives. And um, Terry is the one that agreed with me to do it. Well, that whole situation was a cluster. We still laugh about it to this day. Um, we figured out lives are really not for us for many reasons. But she sent me this journal, and that's an ornament down in there. Um, I've kind of pulled it out and played with it a little bit. And it's kind of got all kinds of flips and pockets and tucks, as you can see. There's just, whoops, I'm out of camera. And there's just all kinds of stuff in here. Let me get it back in there. Oh, well, it's tight. I'm just going to let it be. And um, look at it. It just continues to go on and on and on. So I do appreciate it very much, Terry. I'm not going to uh, unclip anything else. So she put a lot into this. Like I said, it's a lot of flips and everything. So, Terry, I greatly appreciate it. And everybody that sent me something in the month of December, thank you very much. You kept me motivated at Christmas time when all of us are still having a little bit of trouble this year. So, I do hope that for the year 2021, everybody stays healthy and safe. And please let me hear from you. Even if I don't continue with this goals collab, I still want to hear from you. I want to know what you all are up to, and I want you to come in and check up on me. And like I said, find those little subscri I mean, those little YouTubers out there and subscribe to them, please. I'm going to ask you, subscribe to them and stay subscribed. And, you know, 
I, I, I will appreciate it, and I know they will too. So I've rambled on longer than I ever have on one of these goals videos, but I appreciate it. And listen, behave yourselves, and I will see you down the road. Come back and check me out. Bye.